Hello, friends. Hello. That's, How are we doing? That's better. People Pistu- still come up to us and go, you don't bloody do it in a pub. <laughs> I know, <laughs> they do actually, that. yeah. You've never done it in the pub. Um, this feels really- um, jet laggy because yeah, we, we, we've we, just got we, off the bus. I quite like it. <laughs> we, usually, we, us- we usually do this at... It's usually first like, thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like morning slash afternoons. Today's... First thing on a Monday coming to, morning. Coming to you at five o'clock. On a, we've just on a Sunday. So we played the Tom Grennan at Gunnersbury Park last night. And we got the bus, tour bus home today. And I brought five microphones, five cables, an interface, a laptop, everything to do a podcast apart from the power cable. Because yeah. we were going to do it on the tour bus we're as we were moving, bus, weren't yeah. we? Mm. A moving podcast on the bus. A mobile podcast. A bit more of a unique selling point, whereas now so, we're just back in here. Where we're I think we'll probably do, we'll do one from the tour bus on tour. Yeah. Yeah, if well, there is going to be a tour coming you at, at some point, the Australian tour. <laughs> oh, we'll do one then. I was saying I want a Pelly case with everything just like I ready. Could, when we, we do Sydney Opera that. House. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. Well, that's free it. Gig. Podcast yeah. tour. Sid- Sydney yeah. Opera House for 10 fans. Be good that. No, free gig. It's all what's out. the draw? <laughs> like, what's the draw to the gig? What's, what are you going to do? Depends what you're fucking drawing, Mush. <laughs> it's free, isn't it? <laughs> oh, aside from free, is it like an incentive or something like that? Or? Just like see us, could give out like um, for free little like gift bags. Or Fake something. it till you make it. But, but I'm saying there's only ten fans who know us, so them ten people would have to do the work rate. Well, no, no, that's the point. Because after one thousand nine hundred and ninety people will know. No, us. Miles is saying go after people who know nothing about. Yeah, them. no. So you're saying just stand on the street. If, go, if come each to a one of them tonight. ten people yeah. brings their two hundred friends, sold out. There you go. Easy. I mean, it's not happening. Sure, it's doable. It's not happening. But I know. think we should do it. Okay, this is podcast eighty, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm do you, look how much it is to book out the um, Sydney Opera House. Do you know, like a little niche behind the scenes? It's not even. I don't even know what it is, but it's funny you should say that. That it's episode eighty because I always name them like episode forty-two, and then like who I send it to names them as like forty, like seven. Oh, and then really? You've got eighty. So you count them from every single one that we've this done. Is every single podcast right. I've done, whatever. Yeah. yeah. From 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 the the, the very if beginning. you go on, if you go on Blossom's podcast yeah we've got we've got eighty or wow. this will be the eightieth we've done it like every week for nine wow. months now yes yeah, flown by when's it gonna fucking stop you know what I mean <laughs> I'll the fucking few weeks off <laughs> nah I'm all right maybe well I think we'll have we'll have a week off actually after after Wiven Show we'll probably have a <laughs> hiatus week of the podcast oh, no we know we will. Well, unless you three want to do it. Me Fuck and Tom that. Fucking, I'm going to fucking doing it in Sardinia, didn't you, Mush? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, do so we need to explain? In Sardinia. I feel like we've got to another oh, level of explaining. The side mouth. We, ex- no, no, we explained. No, 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 we explained. Thank, thank you, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Self-explanatory, you. innit? People know what we're doing It's now. self-explanatory. No, fucking understand what I'm not on. That's what you need to do. Should we talk about the gig last night? I thought it was, do you know what it was? Well, first of all, thank you, Tom thank Grennan. You, Tom Grennan. <laughs> <laughs> it was a um, thank you. It was it was, it was fucking mint. I re- I really really enjoyed that gig. Yeah. We debuted a new bit of the stage set, didn't we? In terms of yeah. the backdrop, the photos look fucking mint. Yeah, they do look. We good. debuted the, the the new single. Yeah, we, yeah. We put, oh shit! Was that the first, first time? You know I think first even new first, well, we new first time we played it live. We played it live in the radio session. Oh, didn't yeah. we? Did you mention that it was a first time we played it on stage? I said it's our new single. Oh okay. Played it. Which I thought went down exceptionally. I enjoyed the tape push. The little tape felt thing. Quite, yeah. The little additions we made was good, wasn't it? <laughs> I, loved the, I loved the little dance you used it. Yeah, what can dance. I say? The choreography came off yeah. really well, didn't it? How did it feel doing it? Did you feel silly or did you feel fine Not funny? Do you know what? <laughs> Wireless. You feel co- I feel like once the, once you're up on that bloody stage, <laughs> different, isn't it? Not to sort of like endorse drinking or anything like that, but me, mean? And jo- <laughs> me and Josh went to the Cricketers Arms just past Brentford's Brentford's ground before the gig and I was well oiled but not enough that I didn't know what I was doing do you know what I mean I was just I had a bit more confidence yeah, nice. which I've not done for a while and I thought going into it I was just it was just a breeze there was no nerves there was no it's apprehension still I th- I'm so sorry <sighs> carry on no carry on sorry. Interesting. I really really, really enjoyed it like, whereas usually I'm thinking about too much about what I'm doing but when I was in the moment I just really enjoyed it I, I think um, that's the way it should be I like, I like having one Interesting. One, one bottle just to take the edge off. Yeah. I've obviously got drank for a bit now and I was sound. No, you always, you yeah, always sound. Was, I'm on that. Yeah, I was just like, I, always... I just went in. Do you know what? I went through a bit of a caffeine phase on stage and yeah, I've jiffed that. that now. It was like, just I just raw dogged the gig. I was, and it was great. When I, when I was doing the dance, actually, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was thinking, um, obviously, drinking before the gig's not sustainable, is it? I can't do this forever. No. What? 
could I substitute for that to make me feel like this? Uh, fermented sun, fruit. Think? I think <laughs> you don't need anything, Chas. I've been I doing gigs for months without. Confi- I don't know. Nah, time. Is it, I, I just doing it more. Yeah. You, 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 you don't, you don't like need to get pissed on stage. You sound. On, well, no, there's, there's, a, like, there's a difference. You between, don't, you, 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 you don't need drinking on stage. It's not about like inebriation. It's just about. You need something. Just something just to take the edge off. I'm I'm usually all right. I've done. I've done gigs without a bev, and it makes me. I, I'm, I'm well more anxious and stuff, well more, I'm stiffer. I get blisters on my hands and stuff because I'm like, tense up, like, sort of nerves so, yeah. where it, I, I can't yeah. have, obviously, my, I only have one. We I just should one beer invent just goes, a drink that is non-alcoholic that. that calms your nerves for bands on stage. That's, what, that's actually a drink. Is it? It's well, on Dragon's Den last season, I think. Was it? Love that yeah. one. Do you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking reach out to him actually. But he, he, invent, he invented a beer that relaxes it wasn't, you. Yeah, oh, it wasn't specifically that, yeah. for bands though, was it? No, no, but it was a beer that relaxes you. I think we could tap into a niche here. I mean, you could just you just get the same drink and slap for bands on it or something. Yeah. Call it Blossom. Cans for bands. Sort of Cans for bands. Uh, nice. Fucking hell. That's Thank all you. right. I like it. So, <laughs> sort of like a rescue remedy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, 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 I used to have... Little I used to have... Little spleef. A little spleef. I used to have rescue remedy before... In a little pipette. Yeah, do you remember? Before gigs. Yeah, yeah. Pipe, man. Do you remember it? Bring, let's bring a pipe I'd back. fucking... I'd, Shisha, it's yeah, one just person. Not that, nothing. Has Shisha it? got back like but like nah, tobacco? It's like, like it's like a weird yeah. thingy. It's like no, a weird tobacco, Can you get Shisha though, without that? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like it's like its own tobacco. It doesn't have nicotine in it. It's its own like. Shisha uh, does. Does it? Does, it? Yeah, yeah, does yeah, I yeah. definitely? Are didn't. you sure the proper proper yeah. Shisha does? I thought yeah, it didn't. Have you got on um, Shisha cakes? If there's one person to smoke a pipe as on this band, it's fucking you, Squish. It's one up there. No, no, it's not a pipe, it's a cigar. Cigar that. I was just just going to say on that topic of um, sadly. Um, my pre-gig pints were spoiled by sadly having a lot of technical issues on stage for me. Yeah, you didn't like so it, did you? I couldn't fully. I know. I know you should just get get on with it, but like, it's very it, no, it's, tricky it's when you're in front of that many people yeah, and everything's throw, going wrong. Done it, it's natural. So. It's it's good to shine light on that when things don't go the way you think mm. or they're gonna go or something goes tits up. Yeah, so I've had it. This is interesting. I've had it a lot. Like, everyone has a different experience on stage. We do have a collective experience. I think mm. we do most of the time. There's a if we've all enjoyed it, you can tell we all yeah. enjoy it like a similar amount. But then sometimes, for example, everyone else really enjoyed it yesterday, and you really didn't because you, yeah, but we, yeah, it was the a, technical issues and it was no one's. It was it was just a, a freak what was it? Explain. error. Explain your pedal board. Your pedal board. Yeah, so Fox, did it? Did did sound check? Um, everything was fine. Ears were sounding great. And bear in mind, we've been rehearsing for like a couple yeah, of weeks, yeah. haven't we? Like, so it's like it wasn't. Um, we weren't going in blind. We couldn't have done anything. any more than we did, really. No. Uh, and anyway, so we we finished sound check, go out, um, hang out for a few hours, went to the pub, had a pint, and walked back. Yeah, get on stage and. It's my B rig pedal board, so oh. B rig being the the backup, the backup, which should yeah, yeah. should <laughs> should work in cases like that. Yeah. Um, but sadly, it hadn't been sort of brought up to date and programmed, probably, programmed, probably. and it wasn't like, and I, that's just uh, because it got forgotten about. So I had to find like three patches on the thing that worked and just busk the whole gig like that whilst trying to remember all the new choreography and all the new stuff like that and trying not to shake my head yeah like, that's stuff. the hardest yeah. part yeah because it's like you don't want to you don't want it to almost people to know like you don't want to have a meltdown on no. stage basically do you that's, no that's, exactly you're kind of controlling the inner if you're on your own at home you fucking throw something on the floor don't you get pissed yeah, off yeah, whereas yeah. on stage you're like fuck I need to like keep yeah, it together keep it, yeah. keep, stay professional yeah so but and anyway. I feel like we've probably all been there yeah, at different yeah. points. Like I've had gigs where my ears have kind of, one side of my ears gone completely down, can barely hear it. Mm. Remember in America when we had that mad monitor? Oh engineer, my God. That- and it, we, he fucked mine and Joe's mixes up. So I had Joe's mix. And I, I had to- Joe's mix and it was just like click. all click and drums and I'm trying to sing and I'm like, Trying not to lose my shit. Yeah, and I, I was yeah. I was playing fucking drums, just just hearing Tom's vocal, no click or drums. I was like, what the? Fuck? Do you know what's mad though? I had, I had no idea. Like that gig, for example, yeah. because you know you'd hope at this point that even when these things go wrong, well, you, 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 yeah. can, you can you can still you surprise well, yourself. That example, yeah. I, that was after uh, maybe a couple, I think twenty nineteen summer of that. I had a kind of awakening of like I'd struggled with a few gigs and I watched a few things back and I thought oh, I, I, I've got to be better here. 
I've got to handle situations better. I was looking at people in the crowd thinking they looked bored mm. and that would throw my gig. Mm. So yeah. not even like a technical thing would throw my gig. It would just, just be like yeah. my own head Vibe. interpreting shit. Ob- observing Whereas things. now I'm like... I think I enjoy gigs the most and consistently. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've come off stage and trying to think of times where... Charlie Charlie always enjoys gigs as well. Yeah, but I, I, and stuff happens, but I still always, I sort of take it and quite I enjoy can, it sometimes. I can relate to Josh though because when something's so severe as your pedal board like if you plugged into just an amp straight in you could play it but a lot of your sounds come from the effects pedals don't yeah. the way you program them and they're all timed and like and it's, it's all like time delays yeah. to the BPM and that like if I've had when we headlined Ken Call in my keys rig fucked it it was all going tits up and Is that when we had like Kent? Hen- ha- ha- mem- remember it? <laughs> Handled. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. You Everything went wrong. Did you I- have to see rig it? Well, yeah, I- I've got like a backup, like a little switch. It's now a little slap that's under my hmm. thing. And that's basically me, a version of me recorded in here. And if anything goes titch, you just slap that and then play. Just whilst it's getting fixed, then you start playing again. But that didn't work either. Half of it was only, half of it was rooted to the wrong place. Similar to Josh though, like I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have known until it happened in a real circumstance to then go fuck. It's I also, need to check this. It's, all. It's, yeah, it's, it's useful when it when it happens like yeah. that because it's like oh right okay, now 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 I know that like I need to have a carbon copy mm. working yeah, setup. It, you it? know what I mean? Because if any one thing goes down, then you've got to learn know? from it, haven't you? But yeah. everyone else, we really loved it. We, tried, I, yeah, we debuted news, played Perfect Me for the first time. We had a few new, like we keep talking about segways, stage stuff. Everyone will see this at Withenshaw Park. And there's more uh, Withenshaw you know Park you haven't seen. Yeah, Very close as well, Withenshaw Park, selling out, which, well done, boys. I'm I'm proud, of, proud of you. I have a fucking proud bought a ticket. It's good though, isn't it? It's a big, uh, <laughs> I've got a, um, I've got a negative comment. Have you? Fucking Hit team it. right here. Come on, man. Negative comment. So uh, this gone. So just a quick one. We never put a disclaimer out about the last podcast. It, Josh's mic didn't uh, work, so I had to use the camera audio. But the cameras go out of sync every ten, every four gigabytes. Yeah. Not, not the even look with technology this week. Oh fucking hell! So the bug. So <laughs> yeah. it sounded a bit. Do you know what? Get them out fucking now. The Ebo comes in threes. Yeah. yeah, it does. Get them out fucking now. Who's next? Better not be me. Don't know. No, Do you no, know what? No, I've no, had no, my fair share. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now. That's yeah. it. We've done the bugs. Yeah. Do you know what? It might be the omen of the um, the uh, knot that I put on your board. Might be. There's a knot from a piece of wood I found in the yard. I drew a face on it and put Josh put it on his board. Is he still on it? Might be like the witch doctor. Yeah. You had it all week though. We'll get it off. Uh, anyway, the negative YouTube comment, Go which on. isn't from YouTube, it's uh, the negative Manchester Evening News dot co dot UK comment of the week. What's so the Manchester Evening News put an article up saying Blossoms vi- visit Stockport Care Home residents to film latest music video. Oh, it's like a little article when you went to see. Yeah, in perfect meme shot. Uh, yep, Care Home. <laughs> Someone's commented on it saying, "Haven't they suffered enough?" <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I like that. It's, that's good. It's that. Harsh, that, and I was like, "Fucking hell!" I was like, "Also, that's fucking tight." <laughs> I'm Do having you know that. Mean? Fair play. Fucking. But I mean, come on, there's time and place. That, isn't that, not, yeah, not it's not there. a nice comment, is it? But that was. Um, there's a lot of other people as well saying, "Oh my god!" And she absolutely love it. Oh, and she loved it. And no. loads of other people commenting saying, "Like it was the highlight of the week." Yeah, exactly. Low, these low, and that's the only negative. It's a heartwarming the rest, thing. That. The rest of them were like, "It was really." What was it like doing stuff like that? Yeah, it's kind of very humbling and grounding, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. Because it's, well, it's not nice, is it, to, to see people no, in a care home, but to be able to maybe light up someone's day when they don't have that much going on. Yeah. You can't argue with that. It's quite a you? juxtaposition, though, isn't it? Because it's like, in somewhat, in some sense, it's like it's seen as a bit of a negative, but also it's like, there's like a real sense of community in care homes. Yeah, do you know what totally. I mean? like, all the people working there were amazing. Do you know what I mean? You can't. Yeah. And he said, like, people just sitting at home on their own, yeah, like, the course. end of my grand's life, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes. No, yeah. I, so I, I looked at it quite negatively, and she was on her own in, like, her own flat, and it was so mm. lonely, and we used to go around and stuff, and he's like, oh. and I, I sometimes think, like, if she was in a care home, she would have had that, do you know what I mean? She just would have had people round her, do you know what I mean? And, like, more people, like, just speaking more, and, like, you know what I mean? Sort of that interaction with people. She went a bit, like almost do lally at the end of my ground. Do you know what I mean? Like it was like that, like repeatedly watching the same things on TV yeah. and you know, stuff yeah. like that. It was, it was it's quite stuck sad. in a rut. Yeah. The, 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 them nurses though, I tell you what, they deserve what fucking graft, so much don't more, they, don't they? Yeah. That was it. That was the negative. Anyone got any other little um, segments? Oh, I 
I wrote something down here that I thought was funny. Let me find it. Thank you. Um... It's quite the office that then. Did you hear the did you hear, did you hear yeah. the air con like yeah. moving? <laughs> Proper like sound effects that. Uh, I apologise to the washing machine for spilling water on it. <laughs> did you? Yeah, you were there. You, you, yeah. you apologise. <laughs> so Charlotte was away. That's the, the I apologise to the washing machine. Is the time. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I've been, I've been by myself for like two and a half weeks at home. Um, and I was just pottering around, and I think that's, I, that's why next to you in a car. <laughs> I think I, was, I think I'd washed my hands or like a pot or something like that, and it, it went down onto the washing machine. And I went, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you want your own in your house? Yeah. That's do, mad. Do you, have, do you do? I I find myself doing shit like that all the time. You know when you're on your own sometimes. Oh fucking hell, yeah. I speak to myself all the time. Yeah. Oh, I I've I witnessed you. What's do the it? maddest thing sure. you said to yourself? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Well, you I, don't really. You don't remember what you're saying. You don't really do you, have a conversation you with yourself. You just say like random things, don't you? The d- subconscious. The dog. It? The dog's a good one though. I speak to my dog all the time. Yeah, yeah but you're speaking to someone. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I speak to Pep. Or, but it's like that thing. And sometimes you know when you're speaking to him, you just look at he's just looking at you like shut the fuck up. Yeah. Interview. We've got a voice for Pep where we reckon he's like a little bit evil. Do you know what I mean to so me and Steve Hill? Like, oh, you're such a good boy, and he's like, shut up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Says stuff like, like an evil him. villain. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We've, we, we, we've got a voice for Kiwi kind well, of like Eastern European vibes oh really yeah, she it. gives us that vibe it's just but then she's from Scotland oh she's so Scottish so it should be Scottish really yeah. yeah do you know what I mean I don't know so you have to decide that you'll have to ask her I will do what about where do you reckon Brody's from I know what? he's a Sheffield lad is he yeah yeah steel and all nice right. Right. Do you, do you, where's right. Gigi from don't know you have to ask Katie where Gigi's from. Do we from. all have dogs from? Are they all pedigrees, our dogs? Not sound like a bell end, but... Well, you fucking do, though, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, they are, actually. Working. Sound. Working. <coughs> no, 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 because they, all, they, because, because they have those names, don't they? You know, they have oh, their, yeah, like... Oh, shit, what's your... Yeah, okay. yeah, no, that, that, sorry, that, that, that's why I said it. You yeah, know, they so, have that so fucking kennel club name thing, don't For people who don't know, they? if you've got a dog from a breed, uh, and this is after my first one, my other dog was... What my dad used to say, Heinz, Heinz 47, Bailey. Um, oh. But yeah, they have like a, a kennel club name, which is like their official name. Like in the... When yeah, you in going the to certificates. When you're going to pick them. So George's the is... They have an official name. What, what, George's what, what, is Barnacle Bill at Beaches. beaches. Yeah. Wow. And he loves the fucking beach. He goes nuts for it. Yeah. So he suits his name. All the bees. What's yours? All the bees again. Yeah. Briggs Brigada. Really? Briggs Brigada, yeah. Briggs Pep. Brigada. That's quite hard to say that. Briggs, Briggs Brigada. Briggs Brigada. Pep being named after Pep Guardiola. We actually could pick ours from a list. A few. And fancy footwork. That is mad. Wow. It's Pep's. What's um, Kiwi's? Flower of Scott. Oh. oh. That's nice. So there yeah. we go. Man. So what would what our... Was your washing machine would... called, John? <laughs> <laughs> Samsung. You know what? <laughs> it, it, it's not. I'm really attached to it. Actually, it plays it, it plays a song when it's done. Yeah, this Samsung one. And it texts one. me. It, I wish mine texts me. Text. It's a bit bit nineties, mine. Is it? I wish yeah. mine. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, <laughs> no, no, no. Miles no, 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 is getting ghosted by his watch. Is yours machine? loud? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's a shit. It's like the model before Josh's. It's like new. I'm mean, fucking four years old now. But <laughs> what brand is it? Samsung. It's the Mine. same one. It's just on the It goes on. It chunders on though, doesn't it's it? That like chart. I'm using the H. Hoover. It's actually no. What the H? Come on, name some brands. Hyundai. No, it's got like it's like five letters or something like that. I can't remember yours. Yeah, but you'll be good at this. Fucking wordscape. No, it's something. Is there a brand called Hello? No. I might just shout out to Katie what brand it is. Katie's out there. Josh, open the door. See what Katie's. That's funny. And I said we were doing the podcast. Got it. Hot point. No, no, it's not. Because we, you know, some t- stories we tell. Katie always says I tell them slightly wrong. You know, I mean, I like, do as well. Like, I'm gonna come in and give the disclaimers. Yeah. So Josh is currently um, speaking to Tom's wife about a washing machine brand. We're trying to get the uh, the answer now. H. Canal. Right. Okay. What there is it, go. Josh? Oh, okay. I thought she'd remember. Okay. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Go on, what, what is Stand it? There. Everyone's mind's spinning. I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> oh, for the fuck's sake. It's supposedly on submarine. Begins with a H. Higher? Hi- 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 I know, yes. Higher? Yeah, yeah. Submarines because of how quiet it is. There you go. Uh, right, hi- so hi- Kate, Katie just said it. it's in, it's called Higher. So Thank Miles, you. Miles might have been right when he said hello. Ah, higher. <laughs> higher Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's like, you say it a bit mad, but it's, got, it's quiet. That's why I was asking. 
because he didn't want it dead loud in the gaff. Uh, yeah, the sound, the sound. See, my, I've, I want mine fucking, Obviously, when they're I want fucking my, going I want, for it. I want mine loud so I can fucking hear when it's finished because I hate it. Do you know when you do it sometimes, you're in a rush, you're going out. We talk about the washing you, a lot. You on shove this, the you know? washing, you sh- close the door, you fuck off, you get back and you fucking forget. You, you start kicking tea, you go to bed, you wake up in the morning, you go to put another load on. It stinks, you've got to rewash it. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? It's, it's, well, it's, it's yeah. its own smell, isn't it? Yeah, you have do to rewash you know it. And you feel though? like a twat. You're like oh. the little Lenore little pebbles. You got on them? No, no. Oh yeah, I think I know the ones you mean. Yeah, the little Lenore. They do like little beads. Like, little basically. beads. You yeah. Shove them in as well. A fucking bit expensive. Like, this is quite it, apt because uh, the second um, bullet points changing from everyday life to touring life. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about changing. it. changing. That joint is weird, isn't it? I don't. I don't know. It's... You don't. You don't struggle with it though, do you? you no. You sort of can go, you do, do a tour and then at the end of it, you're just like, oh yeah, and you can just dip in and out going from home and stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that deep. It's not like hard or like, it's not like, oh my God, my life, I'm away and then I'm home. It's dead hard. It's like, you're just away, then you're home. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's really sound, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm- Some people get quite like, almost like spiritual about it or something. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I don't know. just different, aren't they? Everyone yeah, has a different, it's like, like set up with it. That's it. I'm just, I'm a bit more just like sound. You're quite black and white, aren't you? Yeah, that's say. it. You're yeah. quite like that as a person. Yeah, just... I think I've, I've always seen, I think Josh will um, <laughs> agree with this as well. I've always seen it as like one block of thing. I don't like dipping in and out. I always like to stay out for as long as possible. Yeah, mm. I would... Treat it as that. In terms mm. of shows as well. Mm. I don't like when the shows are bit. I prefer it like... Yeah, it's hard to get into Because you're well bit. oiled then, aren't you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like... I mean, I don't even feel like out. I'm in a band, to Everyone's be honest with you. different and that's fine. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't feel like I'm in a band still. <laughs> What do you mean? Like I don't see myself as someone who's in a band, still. Do you know I, what I mean? I sort of. I, get, I don't get what you mean. I get what you mean. A I bit. don't feel like I'm in a band. Like you know, people might see me, see, oh, he's that guy in that band. I don't think that about myself. I'm in that band. Yeah. Like I won't yeah. talk about it to people unless they ask me. Do you get oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, I wouldn't. Do you get what I mean? I do you know. not? Totally. Not really. Do I feel like you know, if you're in a taxi or something and goes, what do you do for work? No, I always dodge the question. Do you? Yeah, I try to avoid that. But that's because yeah. can't be asked explaining like the Wikipedia to people. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed. Maybe there's mean. a bit of that. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Um, I... <sighs> I do I like... think it's changed per... Like, for each person it changes a bit in terms of now I've got a bit older. I think like the novelties of say a tour bus wear off a little bit yeah, and the thinking. comforts like yeah. you like your home comforts a bit more in terms of we appreciate a nice bed now and stuff mm, do you know yeah. what I mean like and I think that comes with age because we're fucking 30 but like do you know the, I mean we, had a, we have a bad bed oh, now yeah, you I, will, I will be you have a bad bed now you woke up you, your neck's like that <laughs> innit and you're like done <laughs> what did you say this morning you said something about your neck Oh, I can't remember. I just, I've got. It, it, what does he say? It's, it's like my hose pipe kink. Oh, yeah, I've got a kink neck. Speaking like of hose pipes, pipes you know I need to give you a hose pipe back. My neck. I've seen you fucking hose pipe. Pa- it wouldn't fuck it around. But I do think it is hard. I know you don't Trust. necessarily feel that, but I do think there's an adjustment of. I do, especially with like the intensity. I'm the of, odd one out. Say live gigs, and like the intenseness of playing live and the rush you get, and it is an anomaly. And then it? just the yeah. mundane of like cleaning yeah, your and kitchen. Yeah, like just being like. <laughs> Yeah, then, then going back and speaking to your washing machine. Yeah, yeah. it's like, there you go. it is strange. Even just like sometimes walking to the corner shop mm. and people are like, oh, I've seen you do like... Oh, yeah, do you think back. that's an expectation of growing up and seeing it in the movies and being like, no, yeah, like think, yeah, people think, are in bands, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like yeah. the lifestyle's always... Yeah, like you have to fit a stereotype. Or, 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 almost in like a Motley Crue way. Like, I that's... Yeah. That, do you, I do you know, get what I mean? I get, I get that. I get do you that, understand I what I mean? I, yeah, I get what you mean, but I don't think... I think it's more on the whole thing of like, you're sort of on stage and you're performing mm. and I don't know loads of people are sort of it sounds cringy, but like looking up to you, like physically looking up to you, doing all like this, and like watching just you doing it. So then all of a sudden it's like, it's like, for example, a wedding day, you treat it differently because it's your wedding. Everyone's yeah. on, eyes are on you. Yeah. It's the same when you're in a band. Mm. You, like, you know what I mean? When you do it, all eyes are on you that day. Like, for example, we spotted Tom Gunn yesterday when he's walking, it's all about him. I have Tom, good luck tonight, mate. Oh, I won't bother you, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, I'll come and speak to you after. It's like, no, you're respected he, a lot yeah, in your little domain. Aren't yeah. you? Good analogy, that. And do no, you know what I mean? Weird that you made the wedding analogy, right? Because I've spoke to Katie about this, about some people who, we, you know, we've been to weddings or you speak to like friends who are getting married and stuff and they're like, I'm so stressed about the wedding. Like, oh, I don't know what to do about this or whatever. Whereas like for me, for example, my wedding day, I wasn't nervous at all. Oh yeah, because yeah. Because the element of the performative element of a wedding, because you've got to stand there in front of everyone, aren't you? Yeah. So it's quite that. intense, yeah. isn't it? You've got to yeah. say this stuff. Like it was nothing yeah. really to me in a way. 
Not that my wedding didn't mean anything, but the nerve side of it, I was just like, fucking bring it on. It's another day. It's just mm. going to be a party. Yeah. Where yeah. The other side of it, like speaking and all that stuff is kind of, That's the some people, it's like, like the biggest day of their life. Well, it is the biggest well, day is. of their yeah, life, yeah. but we have things like that where you're the centre of attention, weirdly. Yeah, yeah, no. Without but, sounding like a no, con. No, it does, it, does make you, it does make you sound like, because I said at the end, and I don't want to say it's cringe, but no, but it when, true. Especially when it's your gig, like everyone's like, is this right? Well, this, What's this? And, is I, this? and I think going from that, See a scenario to then just going home that that's the thing that I struggle with like that thing of being like oh I don't know it's, it's just it's just a bit weird well, it's not normal it is also it? I think it also leads into pre-gig and post-gig when people are in the dressing room or the mates yeah. family whatever you feel like you have to perform yeah, Do you know what I mean? Well, you feel like you've got to act a certain way in that, don't you sometimes? It's a bit I feel like the only time that I really love gigs where we come off stage and we get on a tour bus or we get on in a car and we go and it's just us five, and we're yeah. chatting about the gig. You're on a buzz, That's yeah. the, where yeah. I'm like, because we're just on a buzz. But sometimes you just you can just be quiet and like, oh, what do you think? Yeah, I loved it. That's it. You don't have to go. Oh, do you want to drink? You know what I mean? It's like it's just. That's why there's quiet rooms. If you ever, see, if you, anyone ever goes backstage anywhere, you'll see quiet room. Mm, and you yeah. go in, you just have a bit of a. I like to have a little. Just going to decompress. Yeah, and then sometimes you, you come off stage and you buzz, and you just need a moment to get your head clear. Then like fifty people pile into the dressing room, and you're like, "Fucking hell, right? Just got to get stuck in now and start yeah. speaking to everyone." But mm. no, but it, it is a strange juxtaposition. I think sometimes the quiet thing can change. Cause sometimes you come off stage and you're just bang up for it, and you're just like, "Yes, I can get involved with everyone." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it depends. It, it, I don't like feel yesterday like yesterday. I felt like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I was like everything was fucking. Like, come on, yeah. I don't feel like these like set. I don't feel like they set points. Do you know what I mean? Even like I, even like sometimes I can do a gig, come home, and it'd be absolutely fine with coming home and mm. not bother me at all. Or then. Sometimes you like. Sometimes maybe you've got. If you've done a long stretch, or stuff, yeah, it's just nice. You're like fucking. Hell, I needed that couple of days to reset, and yeah. then you appreciate going back out again. Maybe like I've had that over the years. I remember once when we were really, really busy. I think we were in Amsterdam, and we had, and I flew. Me home. and you. I mean, you flew back. Yeah, and I flew back, and it was like a bit of a buzz, but. That was like flying back, knowing I'm flying back out tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? It's different. Yeah. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. I um, yeah, I, I agree. Like saying, sometimes doing them mundane things, like cleaning your kitchen, like thinking, sometimes you look forward to them. Do you know what I mean? When you're doing this, like when you're in, I don't know, some like a new city or something, and it's like exciting and stuff like that. You do that every single day. Sometimes you're like, I don't mind just waking up, just wiping the kitchen sides yeah, down, watching a bit of TV. Like do you know what I mean? Cooking, like. It, it's, it's a weird thing sometimes. I think you, it can also be too, it's like too much of anything is a bad thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You can get sick of too much of anything, so. Yeah. Tour bus is a lot cleaner these days as we've gotten older. I can speak for yourself. No, it is though. <laughs> I noticed yeah. that today I was like, it's nice. Not as many people though, was it? Well, we had our own bus. I feel like. <clears throat> try that when there's 16 on one bus. Yeah. I don't think I ever fucking will get 16 on one bus, will I? <laughs> <laughs> um, Would you like to go to some fan questions? Yeah. Got, it's not hard, is it? I feel like we had one. Some, I feel like something's happened. Let me have a look. Do you know what? Fucking today was a bit of it's not hard, isn't it? We're just mm. getting back. Well, mm. nah. We just have to say we went on. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Shopping yeah. Yeah. Nah. nah. I'm sure I had one. No, I'm not allowed to shop. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a fucking big thing. No, I feel like I had one. This is the band bit. This is the band bit. Go on the miles. He's going first. Miles Fuck it. Time. Fuck it. Okay. Thank you for your uh, email in, Amy Hamilton. Hey, lads. This is from Amy Hamilton. Hey, lads. Talk <laughs> hey, lads. My breath's really hot on this mic. Hot. Oh, not know about hot. <laughs> can't smell it from here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, dry mouth, you know, boys. Come in. Nah. Hey, lads. I hope you're yeah, all doing you well. Do you ever get... FOMO when playing at your gigs when looking out onto the audiences interesting like mm. do you ever wish you were in the crowd absolutely rather than not. playing the <laughs> tunes PS me and my boyfriend are big fans and absolutely buzzing to come see you up within Shaw Park and also in Malta for the LG Weekender cheers lads Thank I've you. never felt like that no, I've never too. thought about that oh, yeah. I've always wanted to see now there is another niche thing We've never seen ourselves live. I'd love to see ourselves. Because I've got that little fucking cheat pedal if things goes tits. Sometimes put it on and stand in the room for sound check and it sounds good. So I'd, li I'd like to be in a crowd to see us, but I never will. Unless when you fucking kick me out and I'll fucking get another no, one. No, I'd, lo I'd <laughs> love... To I get phones sometimes because I'm like, oh, I wonder what this looks like out there. Yeah, does mate, it, I, it... I've been curious to know what it's like, I suppose. Mm. But I've never been on stage going, oh, I wish I was in there now. I no, like I'm being not... up there. Did you, you? I mean, you've never been like that anyway, have you? 
I just dislike being in crowds in, yeah, in general. So I'd like spaces. to be in the crowd to witness like the performance. Yeah. And the sound, but nah. Like being but on then, stage. But then, unless you're Dave, you were like, let's get out front, let's get out in the thick of it. Yeah, but that was for the grand and won it. So why wouldn't you want to do that fire kick? I just want to want to watch. So you just walk past us and go, you walk past and go, shit that. I mean, the reality, we, no. we, 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 we can't because we're on there. It's a weird one, isn't it? Mm. But I Thank would say everyone else should do that. May Please. I? Everyone else should have FOMO about not coming to our gigs. Oh. No, that's not meant. Yeah. I do. <laughs> um, this next question is from Mia Farrington. Hi! This might be a long shot, but... Yeah, they are. Fucking hell, did you get them? Did they give them to you? I got my fee, innit? Um, hi! This might be a long shot, but it's my dad's Paul's 61st, 61st birthday on the f- August the 15th. So what date is it now? 11th. 12th. It's Miles' birthday. It's the 11th. Oh, it's, no, mine's the 14th. So wait there, when will this come out? On the 16th. Oh. Happy birthday to me. Be no, wait there, no. This, this, it's, the, it's the 11th today. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Yeah. So this will come out on the 16th. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So it'll come out a day after his birthday. Happy so we've birthday. missed the birthday, Paul. I'm sorry. That was all I was getting up. Anyway, he's a big fan of you guys. So wondered if you could wish him happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday, you. Paul. Even happy if it's birthday. late, he's happy still... Birthday, he'll Polly. Stu- <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Polly. Uh, if, even if it's late, he'll still love it, which is really nice. He watches the podcast and says they remind him of days when he was teaching me to drive because we always used to listen to them together. Oh. Oh. And it's got nice. the cute eyes emoji, which is very cute. Oh. If you are able to, it would mean a lot to him and make the best daughter in the world. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you so much. P.S. He finds you all hilarious and particularly enjoys a podcast where you were talking about wash... Washing for the majority of it. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was like, fucking love this podcast, won't we? <laughs> I'd like to see a collage of people listening to our podcast. Like, where is it? Where is it taking mean? you? Where have you had it? Have you gone up a mountain listening to it? Oh, I, yeah. I thought, I thought you mean? meant like... <laughs> what? I, I thought you meant like seeing the listeners in like a Zoom meeting. Yeah, I did kind <laughs> of. Well. Remember in COVID when TV shows would have a Zoom audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Delayed. Do you remember yeah. that guy who was listening to it on a boat somewhere mad? Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a few, there's a few, there's loads of people who are backpacking you know, listening like to Southeast it. Southeast Asia, you want to hear somewhere yeah, like that? Mad. A lot of people who are backpacking listen to it, I think to get like the home comforts, do you know what I mean? If they've been like... Do well, we need to say happy birthday, don't we? Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. birthday, Paul. I hope you have a wonderful one. 61st. So and this podcast is dedicated to you because of the washing chat. Yeah. Fucking hell. Go washing up. with Paul. <laughs> Thank you. It's a shame he's not called Daz. Oh. You can't take Paul in the washing machine. Uh, shall I hit the next one? Of course. Yeah, man. Thank you. This is from Zach Dorrington. Thank you. Hello, guys. I've often thought about the drum and bass tracks to a song. How long How long into a track do you think it would take the untrained musical fan to work out which song it, uh, it was purely from the bass or the drum? Fucking okay, hell. Girlfriend starts with the bass and the drum. <laughs> would you be able to play a game with us on the pod for us to try and guess some? That's well, quite a good idea. You could, but the kit's up now. Is there? There's no bass loud, is no, there? No, 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 we, we can do that. Do no, no, we, we don't have to make it. I yeah. thought it's something we could do one day, but I, I thought I found <laughs> it. Well, Chaz made a good comment. Some of them got girlfriends <laughs> with us, with it, so you would know. Blow, blow style. I'd say there's quite a lot of songs out there where it's Cutting single notes, root notes, drums, and I, with us. My man's bass is quite melodic. My man's drums is quite good to back up their fucking bass. <laughs> <laughs> he did not Jeez, even say. man. So, because of Joe and Chaz's excellent playing, <laughs> you can listen to just drums and bass. Smith. That's what I'm getting yeah, at. Saying, I, I, the game is like how Smith. fast could you work it out? Do you know what I mean? Pretty, like pretty Girlfriend, fucking, you would immediately quick. work it out quick. because that is the start of the song. Whereas, pretty quick. Let's say if you started doing... My Favourite Room. <laughs> yeah. Oh No, Think I'm In Love, for example, that might be... You won't get it immediately. Oh, I get that what you mean. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Do you know what I mean? It won't, you won't yeah, immediately yeah. go, I know what it is. You'd have to go, ooh. Mm. Charlemagne, I reckon you'd get. Yeah. Just because of the... That's a but good yeah. one, though. It's a good game, like, it's a good game we can play. We'll, we'll put it together. That Quickly, you, 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 you two, <laughs> you two decide amongst games. yourselves what's your favourite drum and bass song of ours <laughs> together. Did you script everything Favourite rhythm section. Yeah. You've got 15 seconds now. Blown Rose. Blown Rose. Mine's Sunken Poet. Oh, no, Thinking Love. 
Oh, do you know what? Do you know what's a fucking boss one? It's just too many to mention. Um, why have I forgot the name of the fucking song? Ribbon around the bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinerama holidays. Fucking great. You, know, Ooh, you, you, list like you listed a few off ribbon around the bomb there. Yeah, did. Nice. I um. Edith machine. I said I don't know. I think I'm in love though. Yeah, that's foolish, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, my favourite tune at the moment is um, Girlfriend of Belter though, isn't it as well? Is Big Star. Big Star is But boss. none of you has heard it yet. So that's quite evil of me, isn't it? Aha. You want to read the long one? Go on, Chaz. <laughs> this is from Joan Herbert. Hello, boys. Hope you're all well. Back in 2013, when computers were a thing, I was putting the bees listening man onto my iPod shuffle for holiday. Wait a minute. Sorry, a computer's not a thing anymore. No, I think it's just not, not, as, not as prominent as like a desktop back in, thing. Like yeah, back like in 2013, sat with a big 2013 computer. Everyone has you laptops mean? now, don't they? 2013. You, you, is that what we've come to? 2013 was like nostalgia for stuff. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was listening to the bees listening man. Well, she's putting that on her iPod shuffle. iPod shuffle. For what holiday, that? which Sorry, is cute. What's the bees listening man? Must be, must be the bees and their album Listening Man. Right. Um, and a recommend, recommendation came up for a young man called Tom Ogden, surrounded by Christmas trees singing I Feel Love. Straight on it went. Wow, this just must be on YouTube. And we all yeah. know which one that is, don't we? Yeah. Fast forward to 2016, me and my husband came and saw you all for the first time at Kentish Town Forum and have been hooked ever since. Just brilliant. Oh. We're the old gets in the crowd. I'm 59 and Neil is 62. And we've been together since I was 14. How good's Bloody that? Hell. That's lovely, that. Christ. Music has always been something we've enjoyed together. My first concert was at seven with mum and dad seeing wow. Glenn Campbell. Whoa. This is fucking Jesus. Boss. And mine and Neil's was the clash in 1979. It's fucking Jesus. amazing. We've seen everyone from Prince to Oasis. And honestly, the last time we saw you boys at Brixton, December 2022, you are up there with one of the most enjoyable concerts we've seen in our 46 years together. So just brilliant in every way, so thank you. Weirdly, just to interject, we discussed, who was it? Me. It was me and you on the train with Miles yeah. on it, and I was saying, what hey. was your favourite gig we've ever done? Mm. And just discussing, like, gigs. Mm. Yeah. And you said the Brixton one, when we brought out Mel C and Rick oh, and Miles K, like, yeah, it did that go well, down well, that, that gig, yeah. Yeah. I was oh, like, because we saw, and I properly compliment. thought about it, you know, instead of saying, like, Edgley Park or yeah. one of the big ones, I was like, what was actually a gig where I, like, I actually proper yeah. buzzed off and I was like that mo I remember being God. in the moment I remember that like even the, like afterwards we were all in the dressing room it and was all fucking of us, like, proper party that wasn't was it? fucking mint do you yeah. know what I mean like, I think it was one where every single one of us was like that was a great gig that do you know what I mean like together it was, I don't know it was great and we bought Mel C out like fucking third tune which is a fucking big ballsy move how nice is that though <laughs> just to be compared to I know. that's a lovely unreal, lovely com what nice it's not word, finished yet good, good job to keep that fucking gig that was a fucking, <laughs> fucking good one to come to that. but Joan goes on to say I was I was just wondering who your parents slash families enjoyed listening to and seeing back in the day and has it been an influence to you all they must all be so proud because we are you're our boys too no oh, this is bra breaking my heart this God Quite. bless, can't wait for the new album. It's taking bloody ages. Lots of love. Joni, kiss. Thank you so much. That's that's a lovely. Shout out to Neil as well. Do you know what, do you what like she's, put, she's put in the thing as well? She's put, just brilliant in every way, so, and in brackets, thank, thank you. you. I, I, <laughs> I bet they're lovely to have a brew with, you know. <laughs> yeah, proper Machine. fucking cup of tea. Let's, let's get them here. Where, where, where are they from? Do, do you London, want, I'd say, if they came to Brixton. Should we all have yeah. a guess where they're from? It's London, isn't it? Because they've mentioned Brixton. And Kentish Town. Yeah, and Kentish Town. London. We we're, just, we're just there. Doesn't mean that though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> just there, so we just missed you. Do you what though? The email's there, Miles. You can send Joan an email if the you want to. parents think. Oh, email, where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird. Where do you live? I'm going to come out for a brew. Do you know what? They did like that. Oh, wow. Know. They can like, do you know like what that? That's one of the best emails we've <laughs> received that. So I thought you'd like it. I like the uh, Glen Campbell. In answer yeah. to the question about parents' record collections and did it influence us? Yes. 100% massively. Me personally, definitely. My parents grew up listening to... Well, my dad was big on The Jam. Um, Strawberry Blondie, Raspberry. Sorry. The Beatles shit. fanatic. Into the... Then, obviously, The Stone Roses, Oasis. Into the modern day stuff. <coughs> yeah. My mum saw The Smiths in the 80s. My mum was so at the same gig. That. James was supporting. Wow. How mad's mad that? that? It's mad, like, my mum was there as well. It's weird that, though, isn't it? They were the same. They, my mum and dad went to Spike Island to watch The Stone Roses. And my mum was at Main Road to see Oasis. So they, they've definitely, that was me growing up. I was surrounded by that. I remember my dad showing me the Stone Roses' first album on vinyl. Mm, that's showing close. me the tunes and the album artwork and everything. So I was definitely influenced by my parents' collection. Yeah, 100%. I'm the same. My mum was like, 
my mum was a bit of a one of them like you know what I mean come back from like a party or like a family thing and straight away bang back room she always had a, like a good CD player with mum straight on do you know what I mean and that was anything CD players a race, aren't we they? Well, such aren't a big well, well, this is going to like CDs. Scissor sisters, do you know what I mean? Like things like going to CDs. I've got, I've got a memory of me and my dad. My dad had so many CDs. We converted his CDs onto a Mac, and then he burnt mini discs for the car. Mm. And he oh. had like, it was probably only like what twenty CDs on like a mini yeah. disc or something. So he just had his CDs in his car with him. It's class. interesting. Do you know? Since we're speaking about CDs, do you want to mm. mention uh, Legato, Legato Live? Live? Wow, go on. Wow, that was now that was a show. So, I thought it was like next Friday that this should we, guy. Should we finish off the last email first and then go yeah, into Legato? Well, should right. we end on Legato Live? Right, right, okay, go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next one. Who's, who's reading the next one? It's TPO, I think, isn't it? TPO. <clears throat> From Beth Kelly. Say it in the way it's meant to be said. No. <laughs> hi. Huge fans of it's you. It's a guys. hi. Hi. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Roman numerals. Do you want me to do it and you can carry on? Is that what you're going to do? H the 12th. Hi. <laughs> Huge fan of you guys and absolutely love the podcast. I'm currently Thank listening you. to your most recent episode on a bus from Den Haag to Brussels. That's what I said. Where are you listening to it? Did manage United? That's the collage. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird that we were just talking about. solo, solo travelling. I'm wondering if any of you guys have ever solo travelled before and have some good stories from the experience. Secondly, if any of you have been to Brussels, Lyon, Geneva or Venice and have any recommendations for things to do, I'd really appreciate the travel tips. I get back to Newcastle on the 20th before making the journey to Manchester on the 24th. Can't wait to see you guys at Withenshaw Park. It's going to be unreal. That's cool. <laughs> Thank, you. To, Thank you. Well, we've all been to Brussels, haven't we? Yeah. We have. Do have we played in Lyon? Yeah, we've done yeah. Lyon. Don't, we're not Dungeon Play, nope. Played in Leon in a small room with Declan McKenna. Do what we did in Leon? We went to the um, Resistance French Museum. Resistance Museum. And it was mint. Oh, yeah. I bet I yeah. didn't. Yeah. We learned no. about the butcher of Leon. Solo travelling. Anyone here did any yeah. solo travelling? Chaz. Chaz. Chaz is the only one. I've done quite a lot of it, actually. Um, Where yeah. have you been? Tokyo. States. Nice. Tokyo. 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 How's that? You uh, went to San Sebastian recently. San Sebastian, Marrakesh. Fucking hell. Uh, New York. Um, you, did, you, did camp, you did Camp America. Pennsylvania. A week in Camp America. Was uh, it a week? Done quite a lot of places, actually. Yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah. If, if, um, I can see you being a tour guide slash translator vibes, you know. Cheers, man. Duolingo. <laughs> Duolingo guys. I've got some good stories, but... Um, and it's near the end mind. of the podcast, so we can't tell them all. I'll, I'll, I'll save some for the next one. You had a, I like Alex. the one you told on the last It's Not Hard, is it, when you left your phone in the car and the guy came and gave you the phone back and stuff like that. That's yeah. nice heartwarming yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stuff like that. Yeah. Um, let's try and think then. Venice, he's boss by the I like Venice. You've been to Venice. I have been. Mean Sophia have been to Venice. It's a beautiful place. It's a nice I, place. I, do you know what? I'd just say that's one of them places where you like fucking put your phone and leave it in the hotel and just go for a walk and just get lost. Mm. Do you know what I mean? On Maybe per- take your phone to be safe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, true. But do you know what I mean? I mean, just just don't don't look at a map. But I always means for you. Always try and do that when you go somewhere. Just start walking. I love it when you you turn down it's a few cool. corners, turn down a few street, and then you all of a sudden like there's no tourists, and it's like just the locals doing like everyday stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like that's mm-hmm. where you like really soak in. Like use what during um in China when we walked to get the meal. What to yeah. the, the is restaurant. this when they like did that interview that they never released? That was great. That, that was like a Top Gear. We, we, we raced it. each other, didn't we? Oh yeah. You so never it was, it. It was, I mean, you might have released it. It might yeah, have been on Chinese know. social media, which we haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it. it was yeah, old versus new methods of yeah, transport, sure. wasn't it? Yeah, we were on. Me and Chaz were on bikes, and you guys were on like the yeah, subway. I forgot about that. And went through jungle. Smog was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, we went yeah, to that park and stuff though, like all white water town. Yeah, we to get but, each other gifts, didn't we? Yeah, it's good that. So thank you, Beth. Um, let's end the podcast on Miles' Legato new favourite artist. Miles. Legato You're live. planning your 30th. Long story short, I didn't want to do anything big for my 30th. I always leave it to the last minute anyway. And I thought, I'm not drinking at the moment. Of all the birthdays to choose, why the fuck my 30th? I don't know, but it turned out that way anyway. So I thought, let's do something a bit shit or a bit good. And I saw this guy on TikTok and he's called Legato Live. And he just basically plays trance How many keys. followers has he got? Like a few hundred. Say what he does again. Right. Don't interrupt to Jazz. You Sorry. said what he does. He plays. So I'm just going to get rid of my chewing gum. I'm going to place it on the floor, but not, I'll pick it up in a bit. Alex. He plays trance or with the backing track and he just fucking on shreds keyboards. it on keyboards, two keyboards, singing. He's got a fan on him and I saw him on a TikTok live. 
went on his, you know, tour dates for a laugh and he's playing around the corner from me. In a pub. In a pub. So quite, quite, you know, low, low key. key. Yeah. Phoenix Knights vibes. Do you know Class. what I mean? Messed up the weekend. So I checked on the day to send a group message out for obviously the week later saying, I've got a birthday thing, come. And it was that day that he was on. So, you know, people who made it could make it. And I got there and it was one of the best things I've ever seen. I'll, I'll agree with that. You were there. You fu- you came in fist pumping. You can feel <laughs> like that. Ah, yeah, you were fist pumping. It was amazing. I've, I've got a picture of Chaz. Oh, well, let me depends. I've got a picture of Chaz just taking I'm, a picture I, of him. I enjoyed it that much. I'd probably go to another gig. I, I would, yeah. You're thinking sure. of travelling, yeah. aren't you? He's, he's playing yeah, again soon. Staley Bridge, I think he's Mate, there, th- look how there, incredible yeah. that is. He's on tour at the minute, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking mint. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take Steen next. He deserves more. Steen's all over that. He gives me. It feels like a side. Well, they go alongside Doreen, Doreen at Glastonbury. Yeah, like, do you know yeah. What I mean? Like for imagine him. That's, him, that's him one of my best nights ever. Though. They they him like up for Doreen, world. Doreen. He needs to do a gig with us. We should get him on a gig. So what's his? He's on TikTok. Well, he has Instagram, Facebook, and fucking and all PR streams, all, doesn't he? All, his yeah. Instagram is the Legato Live. Right. So I think someone's put Legato Live, and yeah. everyone else just oh, Legato Facebook, Live. Facebook's also the the so Legato, the Legato Live. Live. So there we go. Follow him. But if follow, you've got a like, a, yeah. follow. Well, no, he was actually, he was actually, he was actually fucking mint, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah genuinely. He was actually really. Yeah. You got good. a shout out from Legato Live. Yeah, I went in, spoke to him a bit. We've Did you invite him to the gig? I might just wasn't show back. I just <laughs> loaded it on him. Just, but he was a bit shocked that he had a fan from TikTok, which was me. Followed him off our Instagram. He doesn't know. We don't give a shit. And that's why why he's great. He does not care about any of it. He just turns up as a fan on him and plays keys and fucks the, the, off. The best thing water. is though, in in the uh, yeah in in the shout out, it went like this. He was like, "Guys, got another uh, keyboard player in the room tonight, Miles." And now uh, he's like, "Miles, just like me, we write our own songs." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my, Miles is going. Yeah, I was like, fuck it. I yeah, 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 that was it. You, 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 you got a round of applause, didn't you? Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was, was, was fucking mint. How nineties was it in that pub though? So Mate, got, there was some Which fucking. Which pub was it? Like you shout the pub out. The crown, the crown, the crown and eat more. Yeah, it was. Right. Well, yeah, it, it was, was a bit trans it, tunes playing, wasn't it? Got a bit rogue, didn't it? It was like a, a couple right in front of the speaker, furiously pulling each other. Class, it was like nice. loads, of lads, old school, loads of lads at the bar in like Ben Sherman shirts. The type of kisses where teeth clotted. Yeah. Yeah. That's what <laughs> the it? snare drum was. <laughs> it was great. So yeah. So thank you to Legato Live. Thank you to um, What's um, everyone doing tonight as it's Sunday, which is different for well, the listeners of the pocket. Is anyone getting a roast? Well, I'm right, fuming because well. Sophie- I might go for a fucking roast. I might Where do you go for a roast? It's just like a cosy pub Anywhere. somewhere. Elmer tra- Cotty's mine and Katie's big shout out. And coats. Also, Hawksmoor. Ha- Hawks Veggie roast. Do you know what? I love the Church Inn. Church Inn was good the other week. Church Inn's boss. boss. Do you know what? I might go to a veggie roast tonight. Oh, I love I love it. I don't know what you We say that. Remember to email in at blossomspodcast at hotmail. Ah, no, is it? Oh, Miles. Blossomspodcast at gmail. Thank you. Goodbye. Live from the Blossoms Pub.